Right, so this um, short video uh, explains some guidelines uh, to you as to how to um, go about searching for the resources um, for your annotated bibliography and also how to write those up um, for each of your resources in the template that you're going to be using for the annotated bibliography. So you will have seen and we have talked about um, that in the template um, the annotated bibliography asks you to describe the search strategies that you use to find each of your resources. So this is going to talk about how you go about that and what sort of information your marker will be looking for in this section of your assignment for each of your resources. So firstly in describing your search strategies you could begin by saying where you started your search and that might be different for each of your um, resources that you're writing about in your annotated bibliography. So um, you might have decided that you will just start with the CQ Uni library catalogue um, or you might have gone to your local library and used their catalogue. You might have decided that your topic and the problems that you're researching really lend themselves to some statistical information. So you might have gone straight to the Australian Bureau of Statistics website. So you would tell us that. Um, you might have used Google or Google Scholar and you would have to say why you thought that was the uh, best place to start your search. Um, or you might think that um, a certain government department may have relevant information so you've gone straight to their website or you might have looked um, at another organisation um, so Greenpeace for example and you had gone straight there. So we would expect that you would look in a variety of places um, for your sources. Um, so an annotated bibliography where all four resources have been found by doing a Google search uh, is probably not up to the standards that we would expect from an academic assignment and academic research. So we're looking to see that you've thought carefully about where you're going to start looking for your information. So next, and this is a really important point, you need to tell your reader or your marker what key words you used to start your search with. Um, so you might have used um, individual keywords to put into the search box or the search engine, or you might have used a phrase search and you might say, explain to um, us why you chose those keywords or phrase search. So here's an example of a uh, sentence we might find um, in an annotated bibliography. So because my first problem is climate change in Australia, I use the following combination of phrase search and keyword climate change and Australia. So you can see there that that search strategy has a Boolean operator in it in the word and, um, but it's looking for the specific phrase climate change um, rather than say global warming. So after you've done that you'll get results and we would expect that you might comment on the number of initial results you receive. So you might have got lots of results or you might have got no results. Either way that will dictate what you do next in your searching and so you might describe what this meant for you as you continue your search. So here's some examples. Um, this search provided 3 million results which indicated that my initial search was too broad. I decided to refine my search strategy by adding or changing my keywords, tell us what you did there, and limiting the search to the last three years. So that person, if that came up in an annotated bibliography, has done two things. They've changed their keywords, but they've also tried to make their search more current by cutting out um, from the results anything that's older than three years, which would make a difference to the number of results they received. So there might be other things that you do um, with your information literacy skills. You might have used different synonyms for your keywords. You might have tried a different search platform. So the problem with Google is that you're always going to get millions of results. It's going to be very broad no matter what you put in there. So you might decide, well that's not helping me. It's going to take too long to sift through all of those. I'll go to the library catalogue which might give me limited and more focused results. So you need to describe that for us in your search strategies. 
and then you will select a result, resource as a result of the search strategy and you're going to explain why you chose it and you explain that just briefly in the search strategy section of the template for your annotated bibliography. So some good reasons that we would um, look to find um, would be I chose it because it contained the keywords of my search in the title or the abstract of the resource or maybe you quickly skimmed through it and it looked like it was relevant to my essays topic. Okay, they're good reasons for selecting a resource. Not so good reasons are because it was f the first result in the list, that's just a bit, little bit random, um, or because it looked interesting, that's a little bit vague. So we're wanting to you, you to be specific um, in relation to choosing the resource um, and how that relates to your topic and the search that you're undertaking. So what you need to do as you're searching, whether you're searching on the library catalogue or you're searching on Google or at the ABS, is that you keep notes as you do your search. So write down what keywords you started with and then if you change them, write that down. And then if you change the date, write that down. Um, if you change the type of resource that you're looking for, write that down. And then that will help you to write up your search strategies in the order that you undertook them um, and put that into the first section of the template. And uh, then you can move on to fully evaluating the resource, which is the the last part of the annotated bibliography template.